What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Never Fail Fitness episode. Uh, what I've got for you guys today is a chest workout uh, geared towards strength and size, just like I've been doing for the past month or so. Uh, for those of you who are more interested in hypertrophy, um, I'm going to be adding some hypertrophy workouts uh, to my routines in the next one or two weeks. So uh, stay tuned for that. I am gonna be changing uh, changing the dynamic of my workout pretty soon because uh, my body's kind of tired of putting up a lot of weight and, 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 uh, and just working on strength. So I gotta take a break from that. It's always good to switch up your routines, man. You don't ever wanna do the same thing you know, for a very long time, because A, you're gonna plateau, and B, it, it takes a toll on your body. Uh, but anyway, stay tuned for that. I hope you guys like this workout. I will see y'all in the next clip. Peace. Alright guys, to begin this workout after your warm up, we got some inclined bench press with the barbell. And uh, the reason I like to start my workout, my chest workout with this movement is because uh, my whole life I've always just focused on flat bench just because I didn't know any better. Uh, and so there's a lack of development on the upper half of my chest. So I like to focus most of my energy on hitting that upper half. Um, and we're doing it, we, we're using barbells, so we're, we're doing strength right now. All right, next up, we got the flat angle, and we're using dumbbells this time. Um, barbell is considered more of a strength movement, whereas um, a dumbbell press or any dumbbell movement is considered more of a hypertrophy uh, movement because you can get more range of motion. Uh, more tension and uh, you're able to recruit more um, muscle fibers so it's always good to mix that in with strength uh, just to be able to give your body a different type of uh, workout really um, so there it is all right last but not least we have our uh, decline angle uh, just just to recap we hit the incline with the barbell flat bench with the with the dumbbell press and now we have our decline so the lower half of your chest and we're doing this with a uh, cable crossover movement and I really like this movement because it allows you to really get that squeeze at the end there um, so you're uh, really uh, able to uh, work on definition with this movement here it's all about the squeeze when you're working on hypertrophy What up, welcome back. Um, just to recap, we uh, performed three chest movements uh, to hit three different angles and work on both hypertrophy and strength. Um, so uh, again, incline barbell for the strength and the, and the top upper half of the chest, um, flat dumbbell, uh, flat dumbbell press for the middle portion of the middle area of the chest. Um, and the dumbbell, uh, the dumbbells will allow you to work on hypertrophy a little more, get more tension, more range of motion when you're going uh, up and down. And lastly, another hypertrophy movement in the uh, cable crossover. And we lower that down to work on the lower uh, half of your chest. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. I hope that it was helpful to a lot of you out there. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, stay focused on your goals, man. Keep working hard, keep grinding, keep living the uh, keep living the better lifestyle. Uh, that's the fitness and nutrition and health lifestyle.